Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really good. Today's video is going to be a little bit different to what you sort of normally would see on my channel. I wanna make it a bit more personal because generally, I mean, all YouTubers are the same. I call myself a YouTuber, like I'm some big YouTuber, I'm not. You make videos which are trending and popular. You sort of jump on that bandwagon, don't you? And just, essentially you're just copying other people's videos though, aren't you? I'm not saying that I won't be doing them sort of videos like ever again because they're fun to do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna carry on, but I want to make my YouTube a bit more personal, I suppose. I want to make it a bit more about me and for you to get to know me and just make it more real, more more me and I don't know, just so my channel's not just the same as every other channel out there. Do you get me? Anyway, so the plan is I'm going to do a little story time video on how I was 17 stone and sobbing and begging for a gastric band. Grab yourself a cuppa, I've got my cup of coffee. How cute is this mug though? You've got owls that side. And that side as well, I mean that's so cute, I love owls. So grab yourself a cuppa. Lovely. And let's have a little chin wag. So I'm guessing this was around six, maybe seven years ago. I'm not too sure on the time, but around that sort of time. I remember this day like it was yesterday. It was awful, absolutely awful. I remember feeling like people didn't see me as a person. They looked at me and saw my size and not they didn't see me. I felt like there was no way out. I, did, I couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I just couldn't. I couldn't see a way out and it was the most awful feeling ever. I remember it like it was yesterday. I remember we were in the conservatory at our old house. Me and mum sit on the sofa. It was a bright sunny day. I remember it all. I remember every little detail. And I'm sure mum would too. I'm sure mum will remember it just like I do. I remember I felt so unhappy and when I saw that number on the scales, I mean, a number doesn't define you. So no matter what you weigh, whether you weigh less than this, more than this, it doesn't define you, but to me personally, when I saw 17 sco scones, oh my God, like literally my brain is just always obsessed with food. Obviously, I'm wanting scones right now, apparently. <laughs> 17 stones, not scones. <laughs> when I saw that number, 17 stone, it was as if something inside me, just like a flick of a switch, like it was some sort of realization for me, like, we need to sort this out, we need to stop. The number would would have just gone up and up and up and up. So to see that, I remember that feeling, that, that feeling right here and that sinking feeling and just the, I don't know, whether it was like embarrassment, shock, like I just was so upset with myself, like how I let myself get to that point. How did I get myself to that point? Well, I've never been a small girl, never been, I've never been small, like as my nanny would say, we're a big boned family is what she would say. So I've never been small, I've always been on the bigger side. The short version is, I just love my food. I love food. And I'm a comfort eater. I am a huge comfort eater. If I am sad, I'll eat. If I'm stressed, I'll eat. If I'm nervous, I'll eat. If I'm worried, I'll eat. If I'm happy, I'll eat. You know, you get the picture. I am a massive comfort eater. I just turn to food. No matter what emotion, I will turn to food. Like, I'm not one of them people that can't eat when when they're stressed or whatever. I just want to eat the entire contents of the fridge, of the cupboard, everything. I want to eat all of it. Because it just, it makes me feel better. In the moment, it makes me feel better. Like, while I'm eating the food, I'm enjoying it, I feel better. Then once I've eaten it, and I can see the wrappers or whatever, I'm so angry with myself. And then because I'm angry with myself, I'm back to square one. And I'll comfort eat because I'm angry. It's just a vicious circle, isn't it? If you are a comfort eater, you will know exactly what I mean. You just, you tell yourself not to do it, but it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And you're angry with yourself, you're fuming that you've just sat and eaten a whole tub of ice cream and a packet of crisps and a chocolate bar, whatever. And you're so annoyed with yourself that you do it again. Anyway, as I said, I've never been a small person, but you know when you get in a relationship and you're in that happy little bubble and you're sort of, you're comfy with that person and you're just enjoying the moment and you just eat. You eat together and I remember my boyfriend at the time 
drank a full sugared coke so I found myself drinking full sugared coke but how disgusting is it though that feeling you get on your teeth when you've drank a full sugared coke it's oh it's horrible and I hated it but I don't know why I, I still I still drank it we were eating what I call just shove it in the oven jobs like not eating proper cooked homemade meals we were eating chicken goujons and you know the, just the, the stuff that you just chuck it in the oven and chips and you just wait for it to cook and that's it. I'm not the sort of person that can do that. If I eat, shove it in the oven jobs, I'll gain loads of weight. And I knew that. I knew I knew I can I can't eat like that. I knew it, but I done it anyway. We just I don't, I don't know. It's like looking back, I'm like, "Well, why didn't I just say, no, I'm gonna have something different. But in the moment, you just think, oh yeah, it's easier, I'll have what he's having. I was just enjoying myself and living in the moment and just enjoying all the food and not thinking about the consequences. I just, I didn't care about any of that. I just, like I said, living in the moment and that was basically the whole relationship was just food, food, food. Then when the relationship ended, I think this has to be the hardest breakup I've ever gone through. So again, I was comfort eating, wasn't I? I just, I went straight to food. This was actually my last relationship before I met James. So in my head at this point, I'm like, right, I'm done with men. I am absolutely done with men. It's gonna be me, it's gonna be my dogs, and that's it. So I didn't care, but what does it matter what I look like? If I gain weight, who cares? Cause I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm not interested in no more relationships. It's gonna be me and my little fur babies. So I just ate and ate and just, yeah, pretty much just pigged out and made myself feel better by eating all the food. This was before I'd weighed myself and could see what damage I had done. That I weighed myself and realised, I realised what I'd done, I realised the damage. But it's just so hard when you've got that relationship with food. You love food so much and food doesn't judge you. Like food is your best friend, it doesn't judge you, it just, it gets you, like it just makes you happy. I tried different diets in the past and None of them seem to, well I say none of them worked, but you have to be in the right frame of mind, don't you? You have to, you can't just say, oh I want to lose weight or I need to lose weight. It doesn't doesn't just happen like that. You have to have the willpower and to be in the right frame of mind to actually, to actually do it. And what a sip of my coffee, hang on. I've been talking for 11 minutes already. How, how have I been talking for that long? I just can't get to the point, can I? I ramble. Yeah, I've I tried all these different diets before. In my mind, they hadn't worked. I don't, I hadn't tried hard enough. I know I hadn't. Looking back, but in my mind, like, well, I've tried that. I've tried that. I've tried that. Nothing works. I can't do it. There's no other option. I cannot do this. I remember just saying, I can't do it. I can't do it. And I literally sobbed like a proper sob fest on the sofa with my mum, saying, I need a gastric band. I cannot do it by myself. I can't do it. It's not gonna work. I need a gastric band. And obviously, mum was all against it, and I probably couldn't even get one, like, thinking about it. You have to be, like, over a certain weight, and I don't, I don't know the criteria of having a gastric, gastric band, but mum was obviously making me feel better and having a good chat with me, telling me all the bad things about having one done, trying to, like, calm me down and convince me against the whole idea. You get yourself in such a state, like, no matter what anyone tells you, you've got it in your mind that you can't do it. I just have to look at a bit of cake or sniff a burger, look at a bit of cake and I'll gain four pounds. Like literally, doesn't even have to touch my lips. I just have to look at something and I'll gain weight. It's, it's ridiculous. Really have to be in the right frame of mind. Like the amount of times I've said, I'm not in the right frame of mind right now. Like I can't be bothered. I haven't got it in me. And there's other times where I'm like, right, let's smash this. Let's, let's do it. I'm gonna lose this weight. I'm gonna feel good. I wanna be healthy. Let's do it. It's just either one or the other for me. I'm, there's no there's no in between. I'm just from one extreme to the other, like let's do it or can't be asked. But no matter how hard or impossible something seems, like literally, I promise you, you can do it. I promise you. You just have to put your whole heart, soul, everything you've got, you have to put everything into achieving your goals and your dream and whatever it is that you want to do, whether you want to gain weight, lose weight, you can do it. You just have to be motivated to get there, do you know what I mean? Mum had a, a mum chat with me and she said we'll do Slim and Well together, we will do this together. And it's really important to have your friends or your family there to support you. So if you've got someone you can do whatever journey it is 
together with, then do that because it really helps doing it with someone else so you don't feel so alone. So me and mum, we done Slim and Wild together, we've done diets in the past together, but she said, right, we'll go to Slim and Wild, we'll go to the groups and we'll do this together. And what I found helped me was green tea helped me quite a lot to sort of boost my weight loss. Obviously in the beginning of a weight loss journey, you'll lose weight quite quickly and then it will sort of slow down. But when I got to the stage where it had slowed down, I added green tea into my diet and I remember I drank that like crazy one week and I'd lost 50 shoe, I lost like seven pounds that week. I remember the lady at Simon Well, she was really shocked. She's like, get off the scales and get back on again. Like literally, she couldn't believe it. And fish, fish helps me lose weight a lot. I always say, if it swims, it slims. So fish and green tea helps me and lots of water. Drink all the water you can, even if you have to add juice or something, because obviously water, let's face it, is very boring and just, eh you don't want to drink it so add some juice lemon whatever drink lots of water oh and i'll just add that i lost i haven't even told you how much weight i've lost yet but saw this weight with no exercise i mean there was a week or two where i tried the charlotte crosby exercise thing didn't last long i'm not i'm not an exercise kind of person like one i'm too lazy i just can't i don't enjoy it i don't enjoy exercise and two I get really bad migraines and neck problems and stuff, so exercise does not agree with me. So I've done all this with basically zero exercise. And so yeah, after my absolute meltdown on the sofa to my mum, we joined Slim and Wild, and I would say this took me probably a good few years. Like, I only reached my goal weight when, just before I got pregnant with Nevaeh, our little girl. So she's two, two years, three months, something around that. So, so I got to my goal weight just before I fell pregnant with her. So it took me, oh, it took me a good few years. But saying that, I wasn't strict the whole time. It wasn't like solidly slimming world the whole time. There was a lot of switching diets and not really bothering. And then obviously when me and James got together, which was about five years ago, it's a new bubble. It's a new relationship and you're in the honeymoon phase again and there's like eating out, you're going out for meals and that whole process of just being comfy with each other, eating the foods, enjoying yourself, living in the moment, meals out, you know. So I wasn't dieting the whole time. I didn't stick to Slim and World the whole time. I actually tried juicing at one point, which worked really well for me. Um, slim Fast, it wasn't all Slim and World, but I always, I always go back to Slim and World. I swap and change my diets a lot. At the minute, I keep swapping between calorie counting and Slim and World but won't go into that, but basically I always go back to Slim and Well because it works and you get to eat so much food and some, yeah, it works. I don't know how it works, but it's amazing because you get to eat lots of food, which I am all for. I started at 17 stone. My goal weight was nine stone. I actually got down to nine stone four and then I fell pregnant with our daughter, Nevaeh. Looking back now, like looking back at pictures of me, I will add before and after pictures in a minute. Note to self, do that, Hannah. Um, but yeah, when I look back at old pictures of me when I, when I was at my lowest weight, I was tiny. Like back then, I still wanted to lose more. Like I still thought, nope, I'm not done yet. I'm not done. I need to lose more. But looking back now, I was so small. I like, love it if I was to look like that now. But back then, I couldn't see how small I was, I suppose. But yeah, so I was 17 stone. I got down to 9 stone 4. So what is that? Almost 8 stone? It is, isn't it? Almost 8 stone. That's amazing. Like, yeah, it took me a few years. It would have taken me less time if I'd have actually stuck to it and just put everything I had into it. But as I said, I've had breaks, I swapped diets, like I wasn't 100%. So it would have taken less time if I'd have actually done it properly, I suppose. But yeah, I did it, I did it. Like I, I was adamant, I was crying adamant. I needed a gastric band, can't do it, can't do it. But I did it. I did it. Yeah, it doesn't take, like, it's not like an overnight thing. It's not gonna happen in five minutes. It takes time and a lot of effort, but I did it. And I'm so proud of myself that I did do it. I'm not at my goal weight now. I've had two kids. So I'm now at 11 stone 12-ish, I think. I keep going up and down. I keep getting down to 11 stone nine. And then I have a wobble about something and I come for E and I gain weight, then I lose it. I just, I can't get below 11 stone 9 at the minute. It's my own fault, I just keep eating all the food. I do love is that James met me when I was at my worst. James met me when I was, 
Well, I don't know if I was, I don't know how far into the journey I'd got. I wasn't very far into losing weight. Like I, I made him wait six months. Like I met him on nine and I made him wait six months before I meet him. Cause in my mind I thought, wait, I need to lose some weight. I can't, I wasn't very confident. I hated the way I looked. I thought I wasn't planning on having another relationship. I was done. I was done with men. But then James came along and I thought I can't meet him like this. I didn't have the confidence. So in my head, I wanted to lose a lot of weight before I met him. I don't think I lost, maybe I didn't even lose anything, I don't know. I would imagine in six months I did lose some though, but not not a lot, I was still very early into my journey and I thought, I can't make him wait any longer, he's waited six months, bless him. So, so yeah, I met him and he fell in love with me when I was at my biggest, like let's say I was 17 stone, like I weren't very far off 17 stone. He fell in love with me when I was at my worst, my worst, Ever. I didn't feel like I was beautiful, I didn't feel like I was attractive, I just, I felt horrible. But he, he saw me for me, like, I I didn't feel like people saw me for me, they just saw my weight and my stomach and belly and, but he didn't, like, so what I'm trying to say is, don't let weight define you, weight does not define you. True friends and family and whoever, they will love you for you, so try not to, I know it's impossible because I've been there, try not to let, try not to let your weight control you, whether you feel like you're too small and you want to gain weight, or you feel you're too big you want to lose weight, it doesn't define you, you are beautiful as you are, and the right person will love you for exactly the way you are. That's the end of my story, like I just wanted to do this to like I said, make my channel a bit more personal. There's gonna be more personal story time videos to come, not about weight, but different subjects. I've got them all planned in my head. Maybe this might help someone out there. If someone is sort of the same, in the same position as I was, that you just, you feel stuck, you feel like you can't do it. Whether this will just motivate even just one person and make someone realize, actually, I can do it. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. I will leave my Instagram down below because I am still on my weight loss journey. Like I said, I am about 11, 11 stone 12 at the minute. I want to really get, I don't know if I'll ever get back down to like nine stone, but even if I get down to 10 stone, I just, I'm gonna try not to focus on the number on the scales, but focus on how I feel, if I'm comfy or not. The number on the scales can get very addictive because I remember weighing myself like every day at one point that, and that's not, that's not healthy for you. So I'm gonna try and not focus on the number, but focus on how I'm feeling. That's what I feel confident again. So I am on a journey still myself. So if you're on a journey and you want to have some support or follow me on my journey, I'll leave my Instagram in the description below. Down below on this video, what your goals are if you're, if you've reached your goal, if you're halfway to reaching your goal, just let me know, we can have a little chit chat, we can support each other. But yeah, I hope my story of how I lost basically eight stone and I've gone from begging for a gastric band and just complete denial and just I couldn't see, I couldn't see the way out, I couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel, I thought I couldn't do it, how I've gone from that and just been absolutely disgusted, disgusted with myself to losing eight stone and achieving my goal way and yeah I hope it helps you realize that you can do it you just have to have the motivation and you have to really want it but you can do it it might seem impossible and you think no way I can't do it I cannot do it you can but anyways let's stop rambling because I feel like I'm just repeating myself I hope this helps at least just one person out there hopefully more but even if it just helps that one person then I'll feel that it's been worth it. <laughs> if you did find this video helpful, then please do give it a big thumbs up. Feel free to comment below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.